Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Compass Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby Kids. Cedric Cedric. Also known as David Clark. Cedric Harris. And today, we have been pushed to review some anime. Uh, we normally don't do that often. We've been trying to. This one pushed us. Yeah, it did. Marble Sweep Gundam, Iron Blooded Orphans, episode 15 and 16. I'm trying to be strong. Try, it's, we, we're going to make it through it together, man. Episode 15. Oh that, that Dick and Tay was basically <sighs> helped Eok frame Naze, and they 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 they, they killed him. Yeah. They you know he, he he tried to get the girls out off the ship. He tried to surrender. Do several times didn't listen. They used the illegal weapon in mass on them on civilians. And they asked when he, when he asked the soldiers, "What have you seen?" They said nothing. I'm just like, whoa. So uh, you know, and then uh, Amida beat the new model, which was great several times. Um, if she if she had a model on on par, she would have killed her. Yeah. And then uh, because Eo was too dumb to put the bridge into combat mode, there was a bullet lodged right in the window. But it just it was just little not, not enough. And that that was heartbreaking because yeah. like Orga was freaking crying. You know, everyone was upset because it's like the Turbines are like the home of Tekadon. They are why they made it as far as they did. Yeah. I mean, so before we get to episode sixteen, what did you think about fifteen? Fifteen. I. Eok is just, he's such a pain. He's human debris. He is human debris. He talks about the, the his family and all the honor, but then when they try and surrender, I didn't see any surrender. Like, really? Yeah, it's like, you talk about honor, but like, bro, you, you're you're framing somebody. You are right. attacking someone that you know is not the one that did it. Well, not only, not only is he framing them for illegal weapons, but then he uses Those an same. illegal weapon to take them in but not even take mm -hmm. them in. He just wants to kill them. But see, the thing is now, though, it's like when you start using them against people, then the chain is off. Yeah. The chain is off. Flaros is coming up to play. All right? Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I feel like his seems to be way superior to those giant metal rods. Yes. Um, But yeah, so that sucked. But then it gets worse. So the episode 16, it opens up with the funeral. Uh, the dude with Jasley. Jasley freaking walks in with his pimp coat on and is all loud and rude to everybody. Everybody. And I'm just like, his body's not even cold yet and you over here just, oh, dude. There was girls crying over the Yeah, over on the casket, yeah. And he's sitting there making jokes. And then like, then he tries to go to the, the, the old man and telling him like, you know, like trying to take, you know, get favor and, and he wanted to take the girls and the old man's like, something right here. If you know what I mean, like he knows, right? He knows. He's like, I'm just waiting for my moment. Yeah. Because once I figure out how to kill you, I'm, I'm doing, doing it. Because apparently, other people in Taywas are on Jasley's side. Yeah. And um, that that's, mm. so we get to episode, uh, we get to their, uh, episode sixteen. So, laughter invites Akihiro out for drinks, and Akihiro, Akihiro is dumb as a box He's of rocks. So dense. He's like. Oh, all right, you're going to drinks? Cool. Let me go get the rest of the people. Yeah. And then, like, they're like, what's the face? Uh, Eugene, Shiro, Shiro and Eugene are like, dude, uh, come, bro, dude, come on now. Come on. Come she... on. Have you seen her? Come on. Do it. Do it on behalf of Tekken. He ordered him. <laughs> he gave him an order. You will go by yourself. Yes. yes. And I was like, okay, all right. And then here's how I know. If you are watching Gundam, you know the death flag. You know how, what to look for. When she couldn't tell him at the very last second that she loved him, I'm like, this is it. She's going to die to maximize the pain. But I was hoping. I was hoping. There was hope. I, you know? And so then, uh, laugh, uh, 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 Aze forgets something. Ugh. And she goes something. I'm like, I thought she was going to die. But. That teddy bear. She goes to the teddy bear shop. That teddy bear. And she sees a teddy bear that looks just like Akihiro. Just eyebrows and everything. And she's like holding it, asked the lady to come. But in the background, you see a dude walking by. And I'm like, at first I thought they were going to attack the whole station. I thought they were going to attack the whole station. I'm like, no, that'd be dumb though, because like then they're obviously yeah. going to be the ones who did it. Well, Paul say, yeah. And then this dude pulls a gun out. Pop, pop. One in the chest, one that looks like in the liver somewhere. And Aze runs in and has a mental breakdown. Yeah, no, she breaks. She like, breaks. it wasn't a regular cry. It was just like, uh, uh, it just yeah. like just complete mental because because that that was her that was her chick that was her partner that was, yeah. and just come like apparently like that was that was the last time you saw her in the episode because yeah. she took ill she's done but, yeah. but when she comes back though oh, oh I hope they find another Gundam frame 
I don't just put her I anything. I want her to get a gun. To, I want to give her mobile armor. Give her that one that they destroyed. <laughs> give her something. Um, but when oh, like it was, it was terrible. And then when Akihiro found out, like on the bridge, they were like, "Give me the order, please do it." Like we don't care about being illegal or not. Like right. no, let us go. Because see, Tekadon couldn't come help because it would have made them illegal. Yeah. And um, not now they told him don't do it because you 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 know you're, you're legit now. Well, you come so far. Yeah. And Tekadon, of course, they 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 still came in some capacity. They found a way. You know when they saw Yellowhorn attacking civilians, they're like, "We're going to come in and um stop this yeah. because that is a." Uh, really illegal yeah but after this happened because that's basically a declaration of war because he's trying to make them come fight him so he can take out the old man and take it down at the same time yeah and orga calls mcgillis and the translation of this call is real quick bro i'm about to go kill several of your dudes and then kill one of my own dudes yeah and then you need to be okay with that yeah now, are we good? <laughs> and McGillis is like, like, I got good. your back. We if you good. go, I got your back. And I'm like, that's what's up. Yeah. I'm hoping McGillis is not a traitor. I'm hoping he actually means what he says he means. I hope he does too. Because I'm starting to like him now. Because yeah. at first I was like, you're a traitor. Then I'm looking at Gallahorn and what they've allowed to go on. You know this is not the first time this has happened. Yeah. This yeah. is not the first time something like Eok or Rustle has Rustle, happened. Yeah. This is not the first time. This is a tradition. Because they're yeah. doing it just blatantly. They just they just took weapons out. They took the the, the, the rail gun basically. They took the rail guns out of storage, and no one said anything. And no one said yeah. No one said no one batted an eye, and they're like, oh, he's just gonna go do something with it. Yeah, attack Civilians. literal children, literal children, women and children. Yeah, I mean yeah. it was awful. And then like there's a scene where like Mika was, on, was like on the floor because he, he can't move. He's just like whatever. And this baby comes over. The baby's like, I'm going to dominate you. And baby's like, and he's being like, touch the baby, and the baby's like. But the baby, like the baby, looked like Nazi. I was like, it did because he had so many kids. He had so many. Kids. But um, but I, the best part for me, because the, oh, the vengeance is coming. Oh, it's coming. The vengeance is it's coming. coming. When Mika looked at Orga, was like, how far do I go? Yep. Tell me how far I go, Orga, and he's like, all the way, all the way. Forget any ties we had with them as Tay was. We're basically just saying we're going rogue. Yeah. We're straight dogs again. Yeah. Um, but I loved slash hated slash cried almost on the inside where it counts when you saw the workout room and Akihiro had broken solid metal with his rage. He was not having it. Yeah. I hope full city gets an upgrade. Give him four rail guns. (laughs) 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 That, that, and then the scene where the hammerhead was getting blown up and you see the nursery and yeah, all, bunker, uh, all the like barracks. the home that they grown yeah, up in. Yeah, and it's like it, those it was two messed up. Just it, it got oh. like that got me. And then when when she died and her ghost like hugged them because you know he's like I will let you go alone. Yeah. Uh, shining, shining. And then I hated how the ship veered off course. I'm like, no, he's still alive. Like, I had hope when all of a sudden Tekadon came in, and then like Laughter's like, why are you here? I hear I hear was like, do I need a reason? And I'm like, yeah. I, I was like, yes, yeah. this is it. And then it just. Uh, Akihiro mm. finally opens himself up to to one other person. Mm-hmm. Like I don't even think he's had this conversation. He's never Mika. said this many words in the whole series. No, and he's like, uh, "I want to be like you." Laughter. Yeah, like, which is as close as he's going to ever get to say "I love you" because he doesn't know what that is. He doesn't know. Yeah, he's just found out what family is. Right, like, <laughs> like he just learned to read. Yeah. I mean, come on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. you know. But like, he was like, I think like it's it's like it's like if you look at it like at the the animation of his face, it looked like he realized what he really felt for her. The moment he found out she was dead. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. It is Gundam. There is a chance they bring her back as a cyborg because we've seen people get more messed up than two bullet holes. Galley. Uh-huh. And I wouldn't be... I, I would like it for the old man to have taken her body and somehow revived her or kept her alive because the shot she got, it's possible to survive those long enough to be transported. It looked... Because it wasn't, like, all the way... It, it, I mean, this pop, I'm, I'm not... De- through glass. I'm not, I'm not in denial. I'm not in denial. I'm just saying there's a chance. There's a chance. But we know for sure Ozzy is going to be joining uh, Tekadon oh, because yes. the the other girls that was, uh, from 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 ta- uh, from uh, turbines. from the turbines they're not going to be fighting anymore because they can't because they would look too bad. Yeah. But if you go to Tekadon, yes. she's going to Tekadon, and she's either taking her thing with her or if she can't take it, she's getting something new. But and the little engineer girl. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. She, yeah. They're they're, they're going. going. They're, they're going. going. Um and uh, I'm I'm guessing not uh, Aze and Akihiro are, are in their grief going to bond and because they got to be happy 
They need to be happy. Okay. All right. Look, Iron Blood Orphans, don't do this. Do not pull a killer Montomino. All right. Someone needs to be happy. Someone. All right? Someone. One ray of sunshine that happened in the episode was Mika and uh, Atra were sitting there, oh. and she's like, "He's like, are you gonna make babies?" And she goes, "Well, I don't want to be with anybody." And he's like, "Oh, like you know, I want, I want to do it with you." And he's like, "Oh, it, it's cool if it's me." All right, let's do it. And she's like, what? And then she tells the dude who's like looking at Mika, like, I need you to handle the food tonight. Okay. And the laundry and the food tomorrow. And he's like, he's like, this is going to like, you're, is that bad? He's like, she's like, my brain is processing right now. Cause basically what, what she, what he just said is, yeah, I'm down. Like yes. she just got her. Yes. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. So, yeah. No, it's not good. Yeah. Atra needs to stay on Mars. Uh, yes. Or wherever the hell they happen to be right now. Yes. She needs to not go. Yes. Because they haven't said I love you yet. They haven't. Yeah. And Kudelia was in the episode for the second, but like, I think she's going to die too. Because I there's because there's that e- that ending where where Atra and Mika hold hands, and as they do that, ch- child her walks away. Yeah. And I'm like, mm. it's like she's saying, "Okay, I got you guys together. You're happy. Cool. I can go." That now. and she said that she wants to give more for her yeah. cause. And so. his thing though, like she's like good Relina Peacecraft. I, I hated Relina Peacecraft. I like uh, Cordelia. I like Cordelia. Because she freaking stopped an army with her work. She's like, go ahead, fire on me. I was like, dang. The whole world will watch you fire on me. Right, go for it. See, they, they, oh, I just, look, this episode was a whirlwind of emotions. And and, and, and it's like, very rarely have I wished for the death of a character like this. Like, I remember when when Eok first showed up, before we knew he was a dick, we were calling him Space Niels. Because he looked like Niels Nielsen from Bill Fighters. We like Niels. We don't like the oak. We do, there is no more comparison. No. He ha, he would be black. All right, he would be black. It's some right. Egyptian eye line. You know what? He's, he's Egyptian. For once, we're not counting them as black now. <laughs> I hate him so much. So I, I much. Hope he, I hope, and like, he was hiding behind the chair. Like, bro, you were attacking women and children. You wouldn't let them surrender, and then they get a shot off near you. You're like, no. He was, he was firing on women and children with illegal weapons. So, and there were some who were, who were retreating. Retreating. He wasn't even firing at the people going his direction. Who tried to retreat three times, and he said, no, we're still going to fire. It, I just like, first of all, first of all, I'm like, how would you have respect for a leader? But then again, though, if you're willing to say you saw nothing, I don't have respect for none of those guys. Yeah. See, yeah. like, what's his face? Um, the, 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 the dude uh, um, uh, like from the, like the guy who's not Rumble Raw from, like, way in the beginning. Oh, uh, Crank. Crank. Crank would not have allowed this. This, no. this would not have happened if Crank was alive. Yeah. And if you remember, if you go back and watch my other reviews from back when Iron Boy first opened, I was like, Crank's like rock and roll. I hope he doesn't die. And then the next episode yes. he died. I was like, but if Crank was alive, I, it would have been That would never harder. have happened. Well, and what's his name? The guy who's, who who became, basically became a Gundam. To, oh, Galley. Yeah, no, 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 Galley. The guy who, Five um, my star. the, no, no, the, the, the dude. From oh, one. oh, uh, uh, the, 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 the guy who was a Mars, yeah, a Martian. Well, he, yeah, he, uh, I forget his name. Gun, yeah. He, but he, he became a Gundam. He yeah. did what Setsuna wanted to do. Yeah. And, um, I think if he was alive still and was on Galifor, I think he would have stopped that. Because that go, I mean. There would have been some dissent. Yeah. There would have been, but like, it seems all the people in Galifor who had the balls to do the right thing weren't, they're, they're dead now. Yeah, it, and it seems like the the dicks have come out to play. Um, yeah, and McGill, I, I and see like this is how I, I I this is what I'm hoping McGillis is true because McGillis he said outright if you if you attack him, I have your back. Yeah, and I'm like I I hope it's true because because then he can actually change, then he'll die. <laughs> McGillis, a shark clone is gonna die and we're gonna be sad. I I just I one of my favorite seasons moments from season one was when Mika killed Carta. Like yeah. She gives the whole announcement, like, I gave you 30 minutes to prepare, and he just murders Carta her. wouldn't have stuff that either, though. Well, she wouldn't have, but the way Mika just ruthlessly went after her, um, I, I definitely think there's something in his uh, eyes when Naze died. Oh, yeah. And he's floating through oh, space, yeah. and he's just holding Atra, yeah. and she's crying. He's he was falling. just thinking, he's like, okay. He's like, okay, mm-hmm. uh, they gonna get it. Yeah. And now that uh, laughter died, and Akihiro is messed up. I I want Eok to die oh, yeah. so bad at mm-hmm. the hands of Mika or Akihiro. I would, I, I would be Akihiro because I I would love it for for him to rip it open and then then, then back off slowly and let Akihiro come in and just use the scissors and just go. Well, even if Jastly, the guy who uh, 
e- e- either one of they both need one to of, die. They, 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 one and, by Mika, one by Akihiro. That's it. And that's I think I the thing that, that 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 pissed them off the most is that she didn't die in a mobile suit battle. That some coward shot oh, her. Yeah. In a, a toy base, store. On a base. In one in their base. In, in their home. In base. their base. Someone came in, there, which you know it was one of your people. Yeah. He walked in your house and shot her while she was shopping yeah. for toys. Yeah. And then Jasly had the audacity to go and say, "See, see, you can't control yeah. them, so you, that's why give them to me." And I was like. Oh, <sighs> this dude. Oh, he don't want to live. That's what this is. With his He's wannabe a... raincoat pimp jacket. Right. Tra- <sighs> bro, it's ja- <laughs> Jasly. Jasly. Come on. Come on, bro. And you know, you know Aze is clutching that teddy bear and she's going to give it to Akihiro and it's going to have, have bloodstains on it. And Akihiro's going to be like, I'm going to murder everybody. Yeah. I think his limiter's going to come off. I think, he, I think he's finally yeah. going to give... Uh, because yeah. I don't think that's I don't think that's um, the the limiter taking part of your body in exchange of power. I don't think that's a Barbatos only thing. No, that's probably no, a Gundam frame thing. thing. Yeah. Um, and I think uh, I think we're about to see the chains come off. Well, we saw how Aki Hero reacted when he saw his brother. Yeah. Not well. Not we saw well. how well <laughs> Aki Hero well. dealt with that dude who was hired by Rust Doll and is basically killing De- Tegadon off. Ripped him open with scissors. He sure did. Destroyed him. He sure did. This is not going to end well for whoever fights him. Uh-huh. Whoever goes against Full City is going to be destroyed. I want. Oh, what's her face? Julia, or whatever, or whatever, yeah, her, name whatever her name is. I think the gun. I think the gun's called. The, the, her mech is called Julia. Yeah, Rustle Sword. Whatever. The chick. The, the chick who had. Yeah. I used to like her because I thought she was that honor type. That I thought that when she started seeing how dirty that Rustle and Eo were, that she would fight back. Yeah. She was only upset when she got caught in that railgun thing. Yeah. And I was like, that that's when you started yeah. caring. Not when he was firing on no. uh, people who were she running away. Help, really. She wanted to help. She wanted to go. All she cared about was getting practice in. That's and see, that's the sickness that McGill's talking about. Yeah. And so here's the thing. I think Galley, because we know he's he's that Vis Vishkar Vish, guy. Yeah. I think Galley is gonna see it. I think when they meet again, I think McGill's is gonna bring up He's like, like, he's like, you know, I told you there was sickness. No, you were betrayed. What happened with the turbines? Think about that. And, and, then, yeah. and then he'd be like, what side do you want to be on? Yeah. I told you to take care of your sister, and guess what? I am. She's not dead. No. And it's been presumably about a year or so. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, I think this is weird. I don't want to believe it because he's a shark clone. He's a shark clone. But mom. then again, I'll be honest, I did also believe in shark. I I like Armro because he's in the Gundam, but I believe in Shar because Sieg Zeon. So, well, yeah. <laughs> but guys, it was oh my goodness, so much emotion. Like what? So like, much. Any any other feelings on this episode besides rage? I I the title of the next episode is settlement. Settlement. Mm-hmm. I kind of even though I hate two part battle episodes, it I want to this be to be a two part battle to be a, episode. It needs to be two parts for all the death that Tekadon is going to be bringing. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then, yeah. And see, if they go rogue, you have to understand if they go rogue, there is no more rules. No. They, they will walk in your house and kill you. Floros from across yeah. the star system. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. If all of a sudden he looks up and he sees the same weapon he used, like, oh, that's what Forbidden would be like, oh no, just, <laughs> yeah. I, I hate him so much. And then in the, some of the, the next scenes, you see Akihiro, I don't know who it is, but someone's getting crushed with the scissors. Yeah. <laughs> and he don't, and, he, and Barbados does not look happy. No. They look up, like, oh. like when, when, when Mika was talking, when he, he like go all the way, he, it was the Barbados, Barbados was like, I didn't change his head, but you could tell he was like, okay. Well, no, yeah, but they upgraded Barbados to something, the Rex. something Rex. Yeah, he's like, it means king. I mean, yeah. King of Gundam. The Rings. king is coming. He is. And he is and he's, mad. He's pissed. He is royally pissed. Royally. Oh, just. <sighs> so, guys, um, we're gonna cover the rest of Gundam, the rest of the Iron Blood Orphan, yes. because I need, I need Eok, I need Russell, and I need Jasley to die. Yes. And I don't want, but if they, and, and and I know he wants to kill the old man. If he kills the old man off, I want Orga to take over Tewaz, and then use that army. To kill all, all of Galahad. There's so much. <laughs> Let us know down below, guys. Did you? Of course, you watched it. You're watching this. What did you feel about episodes 15 and 16? How much did you cry? How much did you cry? And it's okay. And, and hey, hey, it's okay to cry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm trying. You gotta laugh to keep from crying. Right. But uh, I, I really think that Iron Blood Orphan is one of the best Gundam series we've had in a long time. Yeah. Especially at the at their G Reco. Um, it's really coming to its own, and. 
and I don't miss the beam weapons. It's weird. I thought I would. The melee weapons are the awesome. melee weapons are great. The bullets are great. I, I I like it. I like and I like the danger and the forbiddenness of beam weapons. Um, I like that at least so far it looks like McGillis has not decided to delve into the forbidden right path. Yeah, but um, yeah. I'm just hoping Ozzy gets a gun though, because she needs some uh, appropriate vengeance. Yes. Uh, so let's look down below. What do you think of the episodes? What you know, like what? How are you? How are you coping? How are you coping? Yes. And what are you looking forward to? Um, the most is it a Rustle dying, B Eo dying, or C Jasley dying? Jasley, you was family, bro. Or D, all of the above. All, he was family, though. He's got to go first. He's and he ha and he has to not die in the Mobile Suit Combat. He has to die personally. He needs to die in a room with a gun, like Mika. No he gun. He'll handle oh, no gun. Oh no, we ain't do we ain't use no weapons. <laughs> We're doing this old school. All right. Barbells. You know what? You know what? Go get Negan. All right. He gonna, <laughs> he gonna handle this. All right. Negan gonna handle this. Negan, <laughs> Negan can play Jasley. In the in, in the in the yeah. live action, yeah. he, he, he can yeah. play Jasley. But um, dude, I just the, look. I you expect Russell and Eo to be dicks? They're yeah. in Gallahorn. Jasley, bro, you was Tay Was. You were supposed to be family. You was a homie. You were supposed to be. You were supposed to be. But you were jealous because now they was pulling all the women, all the women, and all the glory. And then was like when someone came and liked the woman, he's like, go ahead, because I'm baller like that. Yeah, and even when he talks bad about the women, Ami does like, mm, no, you you don't understand what's going on. You're just right. stupid. And then uh -huh. made it matter, but whatever. Uh -huh. But yeah, guys, let us know down below. How do you feel? What you're looking forward to? Um, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe to us. If you're on vid.me, please follow us. We appreciate it. Uh, but until next time, guys, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. Simply Cedric. Eoke, Russell, and Jasley. All three of y'all. See you later, guys.